Hey guys, welcome back to Coolest Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint an underwater reef. First things first, I'm starting with my assortment of blue paints. I'll list all the colors in the description down below. I'm going to be painting my light source first. So decide where you want that and put a layer of white on it. Now from the spot you chose to be the light source, we're going to create a gradient. Working from your lightest blue all the way to your darkest blue. And I built up two layers of those colors. Once I had the layers built up, I took my clean brush and created strokes starting from the light source all the way down to the edges of the page. I also added a bit more white paint to the light source and blended that down so it looked like sun was shining through the water. With the water done, I'm starting with painting the reefs. You'll want to choose a blue that's just slightly darker than the water behind it. Since the further away it is, the more blue it'll look because it'll be blending into the water in the background. I'm going to be adding another reef closer to the foreground, so I'm using the darker blue that I have. I'm also creating a third reef that is the furthest away. For this, I'm using the lightest blue. With the main shape in, I'm going back and adding some shading. Taking mine to where the light source is. Mine is in the center of the page, so I'm putting the shadows along the edges of the canvas. With the highlights carved out, I can now take some of the darker blue and define the edges of the reef. Then it's time to add some plant life to them. So I'm just adding some basic coral wherever I see fit. With the background done, it's now time to add the coral in the foreground. So before I start adding the colors in, I'm putting in a base of white. That way whatever color I put on top will be nice and bright, and I won't need to do as many layers to get the color I want.
For this piece of coral, I'm painting it purple. So I'm starting with just a base color of purple. And then I'm mixing in some white and adding highlights, taking note of where the light source is. And once all the highlights are in, I'm going back with the darker purple and fixing up all of the low lights. And this pink coral is really just a connecting piece, so I didn't put a lot of detail into it. Just added two different shades of pink and kind of mixed them together. For this one, it's going to be green, so I'm just adding two layers of green paint. Then I'm just mixing in some white to the green and adding a little bit of highlight to one side of each spike. Then I'm making an even lighter green and outlining all of the spikes. Now for some added texture, I'm just adding some dots using the same light green. This coral is the same as the last, so I won't show this in too much detail. Now for this piece of coral, I kind of wanted it to look like a flower of sorts. I don't know if it comes off as that, but I tried. I'm taking some darker pink and creating teardrop shapes, then outlining those in lighter pink and continuing that all the way along to the bottom. For this last piece of coral, I'm painting it orange. Then adding some yellow on top to give some more dimension. Then I'm taking some red and adding dots on top of all the tubes. And then I'm giving a yellow highlight to each dot. Using the same yellow paint, I'm just drawing a bunch more circles where I want more tubes to be then just filling that in with some more red paint. And I just wanted to add a little extra one here since it looked a bit bare. Alright, and that's all I have for you guys this week. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next week. Bye!